So good morning and welcome back to Daily Transfer Update. Today we're going to speak about a few players linked to moves away from Arsenal and moves into Arsenal. Now, let's start with Granit Xhaka. Granit Xhaka, um, we all know that um, he was millimetres away from signing for her for Berlin. That deal hasn't quite gone through yet. And um, the reports that are going around today and that broke very late last night as well are that Granit Xhaka is actually going to stay until the summer. Arsenal were in a defensive crisis. Shock, when aren't we in a defensive crisis? Um, it seems like we have been for about 15 years, if I'm honest. But um, Arsenal were said to be looking at going towards the more defensive route, making sure that the defensive-minded players are in the squad and they're the people that we're going to be targeting. But Granit Xhaka is obviously not that defensive-minded. He's more a deep-lying playmaker um, who's actually stepped up in the last few weeks. He's actually been very good since the whole um, the whole fallout with the throwing of the armband and telling fans what he thought of them. Um, since he's lost the captaincy, he's actually been very good. And that doesn't mean I want to keep him. Don't get me wrong. I don't want him here. Whilst he's here, yeah, obviously I back him on a match day. Um, but going forward long term, I don't want him here. I think we can do better. And... Um, and I think that that is somebody we should be getting rid of. He's, he's on way too much money. He cost us too much money. And he ain't that great. But um, like I said, the reports that are going around today suggest that we are going to keep hold of him. And listen, if he continues to play the way he's played, then cool. Um, but that doesn't mean come the summertime that we all get giddy and go, oh, Granit Xhaka's the best player in the world. Um, that's never going to be the case. And he has to go in the summer. We need better if we want to push on and kick on towards getting in into a top four, into a title race in a few years down the line, then we need bigger and better players than Granit Xhaka. And that's just the harsh reality. That's not hating. That's not being negative. Um, that's just saying exactly how it is. You ain't going to win a title with Granit Xhaka in your team. It's as simple as that. Um, but listen, he was very close to her for Berlin. They have agreed personal terms. His agent came out and said that earlier in the... Um, earlier in the month, and the oh, sorry, the back end of last month, um, he said that we've done a deal with her for Berlin. Um, now, obviously, um, Mikel Arteta said that he sat down and had a conversation with him, and he wants to keep him. Um, now, he's not going to come out and say, oh, yeah, well, let's just get rid of him, I don't want him. Obviously, the club are going to try and negotiate the best deal for them, which they're entitled to. Listen, they're paying Granit Xhaka an absolute massive amount of money to play for this football club. So, they're... Um, the club, he is the investment of the club. So they are going to protect their asset. They are going to try and get the most money for their asset. And listen, they're fully entitled to do that. If we can get anywhere near the money we spent on him back, then that's an absolute touch. Um, now let's move on to Aubameyang. I spoke about Aubameyang yesterday. Um, I did a live stream last night about Aubameyang. And I said, like, if he doesn't sign a contract in this summer, a new contract, sorry, in this January transfer window, I'll rephrase that. If he doesn't sign a new contract in the January transfer window, then the summertime we have to sell. And it sort of split the chat room. A lot of people could understand what I was saying. A lot of people just didn't. Um, obviously, some of you guys don't watch my streams and vice versa. So I thought I'd continue that on here. The reason I'm saying that is that if he goes into the summer... That means he's going into the last year of his contract, which means he holds all the cards. That means he can walk out for free at the end of that. Now, we've seen that with Alexis. We've seen um, Aaron Ramsey. We've seen um, Mesut Ozil. All three of them at pretty much the same sort of time run their contracts down. Alexis, we swapped for Mickey, as we know. That both didn't work out on either side. Mesut Ozil got the massive paycheck and Aaron Ramsey left for free. Now... We don't want to get into a situation where our top goal scorer is walking out of this football club for nothing. We've seen it time and time and time again over the years where our players end up walking out for free or next to no money to a rival. Now, I thought that um, we've changed as a club slightly. Um, we're a little bit more ruthless now. We're a little bit more... Um, got a bit more of a structure in the um, in the hierarchy now. We've got technical director in Edu. We've got the head of football with uh, Raul. And we've got the commercial side of things with Vinay. Now, Vinay and Raul both sat there before the Europa League final and said that if any player gets into the last two years of their contract and we offer them a new deal, 
and they do not sign it, we sell them. Let's see if they back their talk. Because Aubameyang has got 18 months left on this contract. He hasn't signed a new contract. And if it comes to the end of this January transfer window, they have to sell him. Yeah, if it gets to the end of it and it shuts and he hasn't signed, summer, we have to sell him. Yeah, um, but the problem is we have to start selling him or get the ball rolling before it gets to July. Because as soon as it gets to July, he's then in the last year of his contract. He can then negotiate um, later down the road with clubs abroad. So we're pretty snookered. We need to get this deal wrapped up for him very quickly or sell him. And people lose their rag over it because it's a Bamiang, he's the top goal scorer, etc, etc. The fact and reality is Arsenal Football Club, whether I like it or not, is a business. And we can get a hell of a lot of money for a Bamiang. Um, so if he doesn't want to play the game, and he doesn't want to sign the contract, then we have to cash in. Um, because as a business, if you keep giving away your biggest assets for free, eventually you're going to be in big, big trouble. Which is where... We are right now, 10th in the table. So can we afford to let Aubameyang go for free? I don't think we can. Let me know what you guys think. Now, somebody who could replace Aubameyang, um, not in terms of goal scoring, but in terms of actual position on the pitch, is Edison Cavani. Um, Arsenal and Man United said to be linked to him. And um, we were linked to him again in the summer as well. Now, he's also linked to Atletico Madrid, which is personally where I think he will end up. Um, I think that that's um, a ready-made replacement for Diego Costa um, in that type of mould. He's just he's a he's a good striker. Um, he ain't a great striker. Um, although that being said, I thought Diego Costa was sick at Chelsea, and um, he is the complete type of striker that Arsenal may need. That just a little bit of fuckery, a little bit of shit houseery, um, just rubs up centre backs the wrong way. Cavani don't tend to do that, but I mean, in terms of the hold-up man, um, links to play, scores with his head, scores with his left, scores with his right. One thing about Cavani is he needs about 25 chances to score a goal, doesn't he? Now, he's 32 years old as well. He ain't worth the money that we'd have to pay for his services. Obviously, we wouldn't have to pay a transfer fee um, because I think he's a free agent in the summer, isn't he? But um, we would have to pay massive, massive amounts of money in terms of wages. Now, he ain't worth that. Go and do the money on Aubameyang's new contract if you're going to do that. Um, or just go and do it on somebody like Timo Werner. Um, somebody who's actually decent. Because for me, Cavani's on the downward spiral. Um, Werner's on the upwards. So uh, for me, Cavani, no thank you. You go off to Atletico, mate. Go and do what you're doing. Um, and the last player I'm going to speak about is um, Jerome Boateng. Now, the stories that are coming out that came out last night were that Arsenal were... I'm in an R and over it. Now, Mikel Arteta, when he was asked about this after the game against Leeds United, said that he didn't want to speak about transfers, which for me means we're kind of in for him. And the reason I say that is because as soon as he was asked about Aubameyang, he wanted to speak about that. So what, you don't want to talk about transfers in, but you're happy to talk about players that are here that might be leaving. So I think that there's no smoke without fire with this one. I don't want him anywhere near the club. 31 years old. He's probably, in terms of his body... Um, probably about a 37 year old <laughs> it's, it's like he's not a 31 year old centre back um, there's a reason Bayern Munich don't want him there's a reason he don't get in their team anymore um, not for me no thank you let him just do what he's doing somewhere else um, but like I said that's going to that's going to rumble on for the rest of this January transfer window um, I don't want him at Arsenal do you want him at Arsenal I don't think we do when I put the polls out there uh, most of them have come back with uh with a no when it's been about Boateng. So, not for me, not for you, not for Arsenal. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Mikel Arteta don't want him as well. Um, and the thing is as well, he's hardly played any games this season. So, what makes anyone think he's going to come and hit the ground running in our league? I don't get it. Listen, leave it all in the comments section down below. Let me know what you think about the players I just spoke about. Um, I'll be back later, at 5 o'clock this evening, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And um, don't forget, follow my social media accounts. They're all in the description, Insta, Twitter, and Facebook, especially my Insta and my Facebook. And um, don't forget to subscribe and like the content. Until 5, I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.